Hello and welcome to another Demon 212 VC review. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the beat em up World Heroes on the Neo Geo. If you've never played the game before, it's basically, well, it's a bit of a disgrace to say that it's uh, like Street Fighter because it's only like Street Fighter and the fact that it's a beat em up. Um, at the start you get to choose between your difficulty levels and the likes and then you go on to a bit of story which thankfully you can skip because it's very bleh. There's uh, eight fighters to choose from, including Rasputin the Mad Monk, and that's supposed to be the real Rasputin from history. There's uh, a Hulk Hogan clone, which God knows why, Bruce Lee clone and the likes. So there's eight characters to choose from, they're pretty cool. Then you get to choose between whether you want to go through normal story mode, where you just fight the characters in normal matches, or deathmatch, which is pretty much a thing that I would that uh, make, made me buy this game. I used to play it in the arcade, and I used to love the deathmatches. Basically, you get loads of different stages. Um, this one here has mines on it, uh, so when you walk on one and knock an opponent on one, then it blows up and it takes a hell of a lot more damage than it would usually do. There's uh, ones with fire around the side of the ring and electricity ropes and the like, so knock them into them and that'll really hurt them. So, th that's a pretty cool thing. Um, combat wise, unfortunately, this is a basic fighter. It's um, it's very slow paced, I don't know whether that's because it's 50 hertz or what, because as far as I'm aware, the Neo Geo doesn't really suffer from those problems because the arcade ports. But uh, it's a very slow paced game. There's, uh, you have got special moves and the likes, so it's standard stuff like you would on Street Fighter and the likes, um, doing a, a quarter circle arc and then a button press. There's also jumping attacks and the likes, and punches and kicks and grabs. Um, other than that though, as I say, it's a uh, standard beat em up, so the whole point is to kill your opponent in two rounds and then that's it, you win the, win the fight. Um, the main problem I've got with the deathmatch on this, for some unknown reason, the stage you get first will be the stage you continue to get again and again and again. And you have to actually go through the entire bothersome time taking process, pain in the butt, of actually resetting the game and going back onto deathmatch to get a different stage. And not every time you'll get a different stage. So you could end up do it, resetting it about four times, five times in a row before you finally get a different stage because you might be sick to death of fighting on the mine one. Um, to be fair, this is the one I most commonly get, the needle battle stage. And that's basically where you get spikes on the side. So there, knocking into the spikes hurts them. Um, standard fights are obviously the same as what I'm doing now but without extra added things to damage it, so that's pretty cool. Um, can't really recommend this to everyone. If you're a hardcore beat em up fan, then I think you will find fun with it. But if you're only after one or two beat em ups, then I think you might be best off looking at my Street Fighter reviews and deciding which Street Fighter you want. So, gonna shut up for a few seconds like this to the music. Graphics, as you can see, they're, they're alright. The, the character animations are okay, but the backgrounds and the likes are pretty bland. So there we go then, that's a bit of the music. Um, only final thing left to say is that you do actually have credits on this game and you've got credits in two player as well. So that's quite irritating because it basically means if you've got a load of mates around and you're on a winner stays on thing, after three defeats of well a certain player, whether it be player one or player two, then you have to again reset the game and go all the way through it and start everything up again. So that's quite irritating. So there we go then. That's been the review. I hope you found it helpful. I don't score the games because that's based purely on opinion, so instead I'll leave you to make your own mind up. So thanks for watching, and if you've got any questions about the game that I didn't answer in the vid or that hasn't been answered in the comments, then feel free to ask and I'll help if I can. Also, if you did find it helpful, don't forget to check out my channel because there's plenty more like this up there, and don't forget to subscribe because there'll be plenty more to come as well. So until next time, this has been Demon212, signing off.